to like enclose it she's like no so it'll just be a lot of desensitizing yeah. yeah so having them because they have a muzzle so having them fold the straps back and just mm -hmm. feeding her in it um for a couple of her meals every day for what and I've just noticed too. treats uh, every once in a while just trying to add some is if positive you're, experiences if you're teaching a chin yeah. That can help more with the duration mm -hmm. part of it once yeah. they get to that point in the muzzle. Yep. Otherwise it's yeah. as opposed to like chin. Yes. And then there you go. Right? So yeah. kind of working on both separately and then kind of marrying the two with yeah. the muzzle Absolutely. and actually building that duration. Yeah. It works better yeah. separately. Absolutely. Yeah. So bringing yeah. her towards you. Putting the hand out and just luring her head. Yeah. Just once you feel a little bit of pressure, yep. luring her head. Once she feels pressure, marking that and just feeding her. Mm -hmm. And just adding a little bit more duration before you feed each time. But just like so she's really oh almost. Yes. Very <laughs> nice. Girl. Good girl me. She's like starting to like push into it. Yeah. This can also be helpful for cooperative care, putting eye drops in, ear drops, oh, yeah. looking at her feet, whatever. I knew that when she's at the, the vet, or if you need to over, or just like during the dog at all. During like the, the exam is nice. Yeah. So, there you go, girl. There you go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> your lips get stuck on your teeth. <laughs> 